We can't go if we don't let go. I've learned this lesson from Seth Godin, who's a master marketer. He calls it sunk cost. And sunk cost is the ability for a leader to make a decision, for an individual to make a decision, without the consideration of the cost that you've put into it. It's called sunk cost. So let's go, let's say you go to, a, to see a, a movie and you've paid your $15, you've bought your popcorn and you sit down. 10 minutes within the movie, you start realizing that this is no good. This is a waste of your time and you want to leave. But if you're like me, you sit and you stay because you've already paid your money. You've already made the investment. See, you're not considering that your future time is also going to be wasted. You're not considering the fact that you're wasting your time. You're over-evaluating the fact that you've paid for the ticket, so you're going to stay. And we do this in life. We do this with projects, with houses, with cars, sunk costs. We over-evaluate the investment we've made in time and money into what we have. That is especially true for relationships. We've put so much time in a relationship, in a company, that we feel that leaving would be a mistake. We'd be losing out. We'd be missing out on the future opportunity, the possible outcome. But sunk cost has nothing to do with your future results. Sunk cost, what you invested, your investment is, has nothing to do with the possibility of getting a future return. Think about it. If you're sitting at the show and you think it's not worth it, you're going to be wasting more money and more time. If you're in a relationship that's not working, you're just wasting your life and your energy. And if you're working on a project or for a company that's not like, that doesn't fulfill your heart, that doesn't like bring you to the possibilities of being yourself. Yeah. Then you're wasting your time as well. You have to be able to let go in for, in order for you to move on to go somewhere else. What are you not letting go?